passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the white man to teach us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, hell, teach us something. Okay, no, you could teach. You could teach something. You got a college. You could get into college education. When you have children, so, teach so, your so children. So basically, help yourselves. We know we we know you have this 200 year head start. That we doesn't know we've matter, bro. You don't you have nothing hey, to do hey, with. Hey, you hey. don't have nothing to do with that. If you're gonna spend most of your time complaining about what happened in the past, as if you're the only race who have suffered from things that happened to your ancestors in the past, you'll spend all your life doing that, and there'll be no progress in your life and you'll never move forward because all your life is spent complaining and being a victim before you get into the video like the video comment down below subscribe to the youtube channel hit the notification bell so that you're notified when one of my videos come out and let's get into the video what's your name chris chris okay yeah. chris i noticed you have the uh unless i read wrong you have the make america great again yeah i do i want you to tell me exactly the point in history where america was great uh, you know, As it's funny, it, it, it point to me a time in history where America wasn't great. Point to, tell me, tell me where the it starts. The birth of America? No, this America, this, point this, in America this, where this America was wasn't built great. On, on murder and thievery and deception. What do you mean? Now, let me explain this to you real quick. This is for, this is for everybody to listen to. Everybody always have this perception that we shouldn't acknowledge America as being great. America started at a certain point and grew and become and came better over time. No country that you know of was 100% perfect at the foundation. No country. You, you no didn't country answer my in the world. Afri no countries in Africa, no countries in Europe. You can name it. Everybody started at a certain point and it became greater you, you over didn't time. Answer my question. Ever since you've been alive, America has been the greatest it's ever been. You think so? 100%, brother. You can name somewhere else that's better than America. And why don't you live there? I'm not sure. You not, I know you're not sure because they don't exist. This is the problem I have with a lot of these people that they complain and complain and complain and never do anything about their situation. And the thing is, they always want other people to do their bidding for them. They don't want to go out and work to get themselves out of their situation. They want to complain and point the finger at other people to do it for them. They like to gallivant around and say that America is such a bad place, yet they never leave the situation and move to another country. And as Officer Tatum pointed out can he name another place better than america and if it's the case that there's another place better than america why don't you move there because they don't think that they just love to complain because it's an easy thing to do it, show me somewhere else this is as, as diverse as america anywhere that's diverse Pick, that's as diverse what does diversity mean if opportunities if people are being discriminated for all against? people show me another country that give opportunities for all people like america do you does. think we have the same opportunity as everybody else as Who, black people yeah 100 percent with a 200 year economic head start on us and no what's reparations. What's stopping you now? Aren't you at this university? Yeah. You're at the university just like all these white people. Mm -hmm. How's that any different? Can't you- I want you, you can, to go two no, blocks no, no, that no, no, way no, no. and tell Forget me where that. they at. You can read, you can go to class, mm -hmm. you can make good grades. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping that you're making straight A's. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is America stopping you from doing that? And oh, how is it stopping, stopping you from being prosperous enough to go down the street and make a difference in your own community? How, how is America stopping you from doing Why that? Why is it my responsibility to, to make a difference in my community that was sabotaged from the start? I don't think, I don't, let, let's go back to the foundation. Do you think the CIA planted uh, drugs in our communities? They didn't make you sell it. Do you think they... Uh, no, 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 I agree. They, I, do you I, think I've they heard, burned down stories of how black the CIA, businesses? Do you know what me, Black me, Hollywood let's go, is? Let's go one at a time. I've heard stories that the CIA planted drugs in the inner city communities. Not every black community, but in some. They still don't make you go and sell drugs to your brother, do they? Why are you right. not selling drugs right now? Because it doesn't make sense for you to do that. You have an opportunity to go to a university, get an education and make yourself better and make your family better in the next few generations. Uh -huh. Nobody's stopping us from doing that. I'm sitting on campus right you know, now and all these people stop, are listening to me. You know what's stopping, what's stopping me? Money. What I find very tiresome about this whole conversation is every person I've met that has the same mind as this guy over here is always in the same situation they have the mindset that they're a victim the system is against them they can't do anything they need handouts and they're always usually in similar situations where they don't do anything in life and it's very interesting that all the people i know who have a similar mindset to myself and say that i don't care about this system yes there are racist people like there are racist people in every country i don't make that my whole personality i work to get the things i need to get in life and we all succeed it's just very interesting to me how people with this mindset always seem to be the victims and that victim mindset always seems to lead them down a negative path it, I, 
well, in America, uh, 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 in America, uh, 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 what's stopping you from making money in America? What the f is not stopping us from making money? You what go the to the same universities, all these white people. What, how you got a different? Before we get back into the video, I need everyone to turn on their post notifications so that you get notified whenever one of my videos come out. Like the video as much as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Yinka that guy. Let us get back into the video. <laughs> Exactly. You said what? Excuse me. We're still in debt. We're, We're in debt. That's what. That's that's our your fault. fault. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right? Okay. Like I went. To, I went. I we were never given boots went, to begin let, with. Let's start with this. I actually went and graduated from a university, so I'm not a guy that didn't go to college. I, I had a full scholarship, so I didn't pay for school in my undergrad. Graduate school, I paid for out of my pocket. I did not get a loan. I mean, I did not have to get loan forgiveness or nothing like that. I had $11,000 worth of debt and I paid it. How is that different than anybody else out here? Because everybody doesn't have the same that, opportunity. I'm black though. Why did, how did I pay my loan off and you can't? Or where are you from? Also, this whole argument of everyone didn't have the same opportunity is a stupid argument because that just goes for every single human being. No human on earth has the same opportunity and to use that argument is just an argument of stupidity. I need all the people on earth to get this through your brains. There is no such thing as equality and there will never be such thing as equality. It's not possible. No human is equal. No human will ever be equal. From Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Dunbar High School, Fort Worth, right Texas. in the hood and stop six. It, right in the hood and stop six. How did I get to this point if America is against me? Did everybody in your neighborhood get to that point? Well, different choices. There's a lot of people in my well, neighborhood that made it out that. because they made better choices. I could have sold drugs. I didn't. Why? Because I wanted something better out of my life. What do you say about the disproportionate wealth? Is, is that, okay. Does that not matter? It, it's about culture. How much money do you save? I don't know. I'm in debt, bro. you in debt. How much do you invest? I don't know. How did you get into debt? Yeah, Who chose to come here? Me. But that's you, you you laid it out. Now, when you come here for every college student here, this should be an investment into your future. Right. Anybody that know anything about making money knows that you have to invest to get to the next step. You may listen, you may be in debt. Money. You may be in debt to make an investment to get to the next step. So if you do this properly, this is a debt investment to make more money in the future. If you come here and clown around and take a major that won't put you anywhere, then you just got into debt for no doggone reason. It's a cultural thing. Black people in America don't have wealth like others because they choose not to, to generate wealth through investments and passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the How white man to teach us? Is that want? what you're saying? I mean, hell, teach us something. Okay, no, you could teach You could teach something. You got a college, you could get into college education. When you have children, so, teach so, your so children. So basically help yourselves. We know we we know you have this 200 year yeah. head start. That we know doesn't matter, bro. You don't you have from, nothing hey, to do with, hey, you don't hey, have hey. nothing to do with that. Oh. You don't have nothing to do with that. I thought you said one at a time. You don't have nothing to do with that. I don't do have you? nothing to do with what? The 200 years that you're talking about. Yes, I do. Have you ever heard of generational trauma, generational wealth? You my have people gener don't own anything. Where my you people come, where own you come nothing. From? Where you How come can from? you build something when my people come from nothing? I come from South Memphis. And I come from Stop Six. Congratulations. Congratulations. I went to the university. What does comparison mean? It what means does that comparison we, mean just when real the statistics quick. say that we are behind? We're not behind. Some people are behind. We're not behind. Why? Because we make positive decisions. He not behind. He not behind. She not behind. Do I want to go point You're out on a of college black campus? What does college guarantee us success? You're on a college it campus. It depends on what you do with, with what you have presented to you. You were born in wherever you were born at. Look at you now. What's the difference between you and other people that didn't choose? Opportunity. How, how did you get an opportunity that other people didn't? You're in debt, so you didn't have the money. You didn't have the money to pay my, for it. My parents didn't have much, but they had yeah. enough to keep me out the hood trying to make some money any way I can. I know yeah. people who okay. have no anything. They have to go out there. They, they have no other choice. They have a horrible education. Newsflash, they don't have to do anything. They made those choices because they wanted to get quick money, and now they're suffering the consequences for the choices that they took. 
they didn't have to do anything there are people suffering and starving in african countries who have to do certain things because if they don't do those things they are not going to be able to eat or feed their family i'm tired of people in first world countries who have clothes who can get their nose pierced who can get tattoos complaining about not having things and having to do certain things to get money when they're spending on things like that i'm tired of people like that you complain and cry victim when you use your money on stupid things and then when you don't get the things you want in life you go and point the finger and blame other people it's very funny how i never see these people take accountability for their own actions all they do is point the finger at other people do you know what the education system is like here it's horrible okay so let's explain it like this i want to i want to make sure we talk it on the same at the same level all right so in america every single person has an opportunity to do something with what they have in their hand and we have I'm, nothing in our look, hands look, look, let That's me say the this. point let me say this let me say this i believe wholeheartedly that god gives you a hand of cards to play hear me out god gives you Let, hear me out god gives you a hand of cards to play not everybody hand is the same what you can have a full deck of great cards and you play them poorly you yeah. won't make it in life yeah. you can have a bad hand you play them strategically and you play them right you'll do good in life you had a not so good hand growing up where you grew up at you made positive decisions that led you here that's the hand you get you've been dealt everybody don't have a freaking silver spoon in their mouth america is but the only we, place they proportionately who do. is they everybody else man. everybody else like who are you saying white people brother you yes. in you in the same situation as all these white people and you and am you play the victim am i How, you at the am same I? university am i what does the same university have to do with anything you go to the same I, class I, I had a 4.3 gpa in high school i did what i was supposed what to you hit, got now? i did what i was supposed to do what's your gpa now 3.6 brother what's holding you back then that's the point everybody doesn't have a 3.6 everybody is do not. you just get a 3.6 because you woke up one day you studied didn't you right no what? i actually didn't you didn't study no. so then you have a gift that you can go and make a three point something you do realize you just helped his point by saying you didn't even study to get your 3.6 gpa because there are some people who actually have to put in the work to get that while you didn't have to put in the work according to what you've just told us which means it's not equal but of course as i've said you can go to university you can go to college but common sense isn't really that common I don't even study All right brother i mean i don't know i think we're wasting our time talking to each other the, the bottom line is that if you study you work hard you play the cards that you're dealt properly you will be successful this country makes more millionaires than anywhere in the world you can talk oprah winfrey came from nothing uh, uh, uh tyler perry came from nothing i mean you go down a list you go down a list brother why are you naming rich black people? Because these are the Why people. Why are you naming well, what rich about me? black people? All right, me. You talking about, about me, me and you? I'm talking about everybody in the surrounding, everybody outside of this bubble. Listen, man, you you you're you're a product of your decision making. You are an example that you can come from nothing and come a to the university. A product of your decision making when yes. the majority you, you of came others from are nothing a product and you're at of the their university. environment. What are we saying? You came from nothing. You're at the university. Well, how about you go and teach other young men like you that grew up where you grew up? How to do what you did to get here period what's the problem in that well come to the mic please can you come to the mic he want me off the mic come no no you it doesn't matter about recording can you come to the mic so we can hear your question please come on come on we, we no it's, it's so we can get the audio in we can double team the mic we can double team the mic just well just it's ask okay. the question and i'll try to answer your question hold on one second what's your question how does everyone have an opportunity when systematically the U.S. has multiple inequities within? What inequities? Can you explain one? What, wait, wait, inequities in education. What, what does that mean? Are you, do you consider yourself a minority? Is the country against you? But it's not. You're here. You t you did what you're supposed to do to get here. You. That's what it's about. Individuality. You. If you do what you need to do, you'll be here. You, as in everybody on this campus. Listen, some people grow up in a in a terrible environment. Can we agree? Some people in that terrible environment make positive decisions to get out of that environment. Some people it takes longer some, it like takes longer in like, life to do that. Like and that's not a black thing. It's a everybody thing. 
there's poor white people in this country too. Do you not forget that? Most people on food stamps are white. Most people incarcerated are white. Most people in the country are white. Most people get killed by police are white. Most most everybody in this country is white. What so is the, what, what I'm is saying? That what does what that I'm statistic is, have to do with anything? That if poverty would just was just relocated to black people, it would only be black you people. You talking on a script. I can't wait. All right, come on. Next person. All it is 24-7 with people like this guy over here is just complaining and making yourself out to be the victim. His argument doesn't even make any sense. He's saying because not all people are successful like people like Officer Tatum, then it doesn't really matter because other people are suffering. The whole point is you're some of the choices you make and as Officer Tatum pointed out, some people are dealt worse cards than others and that's just the reality of life. But anyway, that was another video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Possible. comment down below subscribe to the youtube channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok i yank at that guy and i'm out